Hi everyone and welcome to your channel. In this video, we are going to look at AMD's first ever small language model, AMD Llama 135 million parameter model. This is a language model trained on AMD's MI250 GPUs. It is based on Llama 2 model architecture. This model can be smoothly loaded as a Llama for causal LM with hugging face transformer. We are going to install it locally and then we will do some of the inference like uh, text completion, completing the sequences, which are the hallmark of these causal LMs. Causal LMs are the uh, or Lama for causal LM is a specific implementation of Meta's Lama optimized for causal language modeling tasks. And that is what we are going to do in this video. Also, I'm really glad to see that AMD has come up with this model because AMD has been real sluggish when it comes to software. They released this ROCM, which is equivalent to what we have in uh, from NVIDIA CUDA. But really, I mean, AMD really needs to pick up its game. NVIDIA CUDA is really gone a long, long way, but AMD is still far behind. CUDA, as we all know, is a parallel computing platform and programming model that enables developers to harness the power of NVIDIA's GPU. Whereas AMD, AMD's ROCM or ROCM, uh, which, is, which stands for Radeon Open Compute, is an open source platform for GPU computing that allows developers to harness the power of AMD's GPUs. But it is really sluggish, especially on Windows and Mac, it really, really is very bad. So hopefully AMD will put in some effort there. We really need some competition to NVIDIA. Okay, so before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, they're also running a hackathon or Hacktober 2024 where I will be a judge. So go to their website, apply there. I already have done a video around it and all you need to do is to submit your any creativity around text or images or video and you don't have to use their hardware if you win you will get free compute credits which is quite generous so do check them out okay having said that let's go back to this amd's llama 3 uh, 135 million parameter model the model seems quite interesting the parameter size just 125 million there are only 12 layers in this model that's it and only 12 heads attention type is multi-head and they are using swiglu which is very standard for activation function plus the context window size is just 2k the vocabulary size is also very small and compact just 32,000. now you might be thinking what could be the use case of such a small model so look there are not many use cases it could be just a proof of concept or you could simply uh, use it for very small edge model where you just want to implement a sentence completion model for some simple task plus also you could use it as an edge device or you could just uh, simply run it as your mobile model for text completion so having said that let's go and try to get this thing installed I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen. Let me create a virtual environment with Konda so that we could install this model without worrying about our local installation. Let's wait for it to run. While it uh, activates a Konda environment, let me also introduce you to Agent QL who are sponsoring um, this video too and agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom or cascading style sheet selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for so do check them out i already have covered them in few of the other videos okay so let's go back and check what is happening with our conda environment you can see that our environment is created 
Next up, let's install some of the prerequisites like torch and transformers. Let's wait for it to finish. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so let's wait there. All the prerequisites are installed. Let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and then we are going to download the model in that browser environment. Let's import our libraries and then download the model. This AMD is Llama plus its tokenizer. And the model is being downloaded, such a small model, just 536 million parameters. And everything is downloaded and it is on our GPU. And I think you don't really need a GPU for this model. You can run it on CPU easily. Okay, so let's try to do the inference and we are just simply using tokenizer to convert this text into tokens and then model is generating the outputs. We are decoding it back and then printing it. And there you go, it has given us a response back. It, as I said, it is just a causal LM, so which is which you can just use for next word prediction next. And you can see that we just gave it the prompt, like tell me a story once upon a time. And then it has just started the story and then it can just predict <clears throat> the next word on the basis of the previous word and so on and so forth. So if you are looking for a, a next word generator on a mobile key, uh, keypad you can use this or maybe for basic sentiment analysis but that's about it and of course you can further fine tune it on such tasks if you like another interesting bit about this amd's llamas 135 million is that you can be used it with amd's llamas code version of this 135 model as a draft model let me show you what exactly i mean by draft model let me show you to you by the code so if you look at this code what is happening here is we are simply importing the libraries we are getting this assistant model which is the llama 135 million code and then we are go getting the code llama and then if you look here in this line we are using our assistant model so what is happening here is that this amd's llama 135 million is serving as a draft model which is primarily an initial or preliminary version of more advanced models like Llama 2 or Code Llama. As a draft model, it is used for experimentation, testing, and refining architecture and training method that reduces computational cost. Also, it is doing speculative decoding, uh, which, which means that where a model generates text or code without explicit input prompts or constraints. That enables it to explore possible outputs, infer context and create new content autonomously that is what it is doing with the help of code llama so what it is doing here is it is also not only doing spec speculative decoding when whatever prompt you are giving it it is going to generate uh, the output with the help of this assistant model and then it will be generating text it could be uh, it could be code too without any explicit input prompt so you see i haven't given it any explicit prompt here i have just given it a code and it is going to do the completion with the assistant model so that is all there is to it so once you run it it is going to download that model and then go from there After do downloading that 135 million parameter model, it is downloading uh, the code llama. And there you go, it has done the completion on this quick sort. So all in all, good stuff by AMD. Hopefully they will also, as I said, that improve their other stuff, Rockcom especially, and then become a real competitor to Nvidia and others. So we, because we really badly need some competition. Um, out there so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching